uh, why this adapter development is the problem for hub and spoke let me tell you some companies which are uh, based on this hub and spoke you know so c beyond is one company there are a couple of more companies which are based on this hub and neon is also another uh, integration product neon and c beyond these are the integration products these are company names rather which are these products were based on hub and spoke architecture okay and those products we are not taking their names anywhere in the competition you know they are not in in the leaders of integration maybe some or other companies might be using this product but i don't see it anywhere in the market you know what what is the reason of hub and spoke uh, that architecture not really worked well first reason they could not solve this problem of single point failure that if your hub is down the whole thing is down they says our architecture is like that only because we need to have the central translator so single point failure will be there we can't help so that's the major killing factor another factor this adapters so what these people have done basically uh, just like jk international what it is doing whenever they say that if your guest talk any of these 10 languages they don't require any personal assistant but if your guests talk any different uh, language then they will require personal assistant now one mistake this jk international has done here they committed to clients saying that we will provide personal assistance for you you don't worry about uh, having personal assistant we will provide personal assistant to you that's the biggest mistake so if if i come to the left hand side this side hub and hub people whatever this c beyond and neon these people are there these people committed to the industry committed to the market that whenever your products support all these standards you don't require any adapter adapter connector one and the same thing but if you do have proprietary application which is not supporting these standards you will require adapter and they made a mistake we will develop adapter for you don't worry so we will study your format proprietary format and we will develop adapter for you actually the thought process was they felt that maybe 80 percent of the application are standard application and maybe 20 percent of the application can be proprietary application so 80 20 rule so they they thought 80% can be based on all these standards which we publish and 20% can be based on maybe some proprietary of some legacy application. For that we can easily manage to develop the adapter. They thought so. But it was exactly reverse. Whenever customers started approaching these integration companies, the ratio was reverse, you know, almost like 2080. So it's like 80% of the application are homegrown application, proprietary application, legacy application, and only 20% were standard application. So that was the biggest headache for hub and spoke people that they were, they were spending their whole time in developing adapters. Okay, they were not getting time to improve the hub product itself. So they were not focusing on the EI product. They were not focusing on the hub. All the time they were busy in developing adapters for the customers okay because many proprietor applications were there these two were killing factors for hub and spoke